some other spokesman will come on and say something about this. And indeed there was only one. And the one who came on was the Israeli ambassador. Israeli ambassador. The only one who's allowed to speak. Let's give the BBC a big boo. It deserves a boo. Not all that. Sometimes the World Service has something. But on the whole, the press and the media is on the side of Israel. Don't tell me why, but that is the situation. The Israeli ambassador ended up by saying, all that we in Israel want is peace. Well, if he's listening, I'll tell him how to get peace. He can start to take down the wall to begin with. That would be a help. He could end the blockade of Gaza. That would be a help. He could release the tens of thousands in prison without trial. That would be a step forward. He could take the roadblocks away and let people travel freely. He would let business industry go backwards and forwards. He would start sharing the water supply of that country fairly. All those things might bring peace. Rockets will never bring peace. Rockets will bring more rockets, which will bring more rockets and more bombing. We have to find another way. And the power, the key to that is in the hands of the Israelis, not in the hands of the powerless. So let us hope and pray, pray as well, that some sort of light will come into those minds. Because what they are making for themselves is the end of the road. At the moment, they have made a two-state solution, I think, almost impossible. A one-state solution means the end of the Zionist dream. Unless they...